Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back. So now that we have a functioning API here, what we need to do is export it to the internet. So I had asked if anyone wants me to do authentication, but I didn't get any replies or comments on that. So we are going to move ahead and just upload this project so that we are done with it. Okay, so let's go back to our editing here and let's do a few preparations before sending it online. So the first thing is the config file is a sensitive file, so I want to move it into the classes folder. So I'll right click and open containing folder, drag and drop it into the classes folder, create a new folder here, call this one public, and then move all files into the public folder. Okay, so now the references will not work anymore, so let's fix that. So if I go to my public folder now, index page, I have classes, but the classes are outside this folder, so we'll do dot dot slash and say classes. Okay, and the config file has changed also. So to require the config file, we do dot dot, dot, dot slash classes slash. Okay, save that. So let's see if we haven't broken any bones. So if I refresh now, I won't find this unless I go to the public folder and everything seems to work fine. Let's try and find departments. So say departments and the data is retrieved as predicted. So we haven't killed anything there. It's just that now we have two folders. Okay, so the second thing is to export our uh, database so it's the employees database so click on the employees database click export and click go that will export the employees SQL database I've already done that so that will export an SQL file right here okay so now that we are done with all that we are ready to import to our online system so here on your online system, go to the dashboard. This is the w, this is 000webhost.com. So create an account with these guys. You get one free online uh, space or website that you can put here. So yeah, so this is the dashboard you get once you are signed up. Then click on file manager here. It will take you here and click on upload files. And then once you're done with that, you can go to PHP My Admin. But I'm already on upload files here. So this is what I'm presented with. So right on the outside folder, just click on this main folder here and let's create a new folder. So let's call this one classes. So we want to match the file system we have on our local host. So let's put classes there. And then we can't change the public HTML folder. So we just have to make do with it. So if I click on classes, I can now upload some files here. So click upload files, select files, inside classes, select all of them, open and upload. Alrighty then, so uploading shouldn't take much time since these are quite tiny files, but uh, for some reason, the internet is uh, very slow. But there we go. It's doing its job. Okay, finally, we are there. Okay, so that, and then let's now click on public HTML. And then in here, just replace all the files that you find, but I'm just going to say upload since it will automatically replace since we have a file with the same name. And by the way, there's an HT access file in there already. So let me open this, but actually we can just replace it. No problem. Upload. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, great. Let me just confirm with the HT access file that everything is good. Because I think maybe there might be a restriction on deleting this file, but no, there it is. 
Okay, so we are good. Our API has been uploaded. It's just missing a database. Now, let me close this. I was creating another database here earlier. So let's cre create, let's click on MySQL databases here on the dashboard real quick. So I have two databases here. You can manage, delete, but let's create one more. And it doesn't seem like there is, um, wait, delete DB. Okay, let's delete that DB. Yes, I want to delete. It seems there's a limit and I cannot add one more if that one is there. So new database, right? So our database will be called uh, API. And then username will say root API. Then let's just click show password here. It's better to get auto generated and say create. So I will go back here, create a new file so I can save these details. So password they are very important. The others will come a bit later. It's creating the database right now. So that takes a few seconds. Yeah. So while it does that, um, yeah, actually we are done with everything in the file. So we're just waiting for the database. Okay. Taking its time, taking its time. I have no idea why it takes this long to just generate a database here, but hey. Okay, so meanwhile, we have these details. So DB user, so let's copy that. Let's put that there. And then let's come back and get the DB name itself. So copy. And let's put that. Actually, we can go directly to the config file, DB name. Let me replace that with this. Oops. There we go. And then uh, the password here. And then uh, wait, 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 wait. That's the user. I need the password right here. And the user is this one. So let's save this file and import it on the other side. Since we've changed it, let's go to classes and uh, let's upload the file. Select config classes, open, upload. Alrighty then. Okay, so that is pretty good. Now that we have all that, we can now import from our database. Okay, so I will click here on PHP my admin and it will take a while to load. So no worries, while this loads, we can stop here and continue in the next video. Oh, look at that quite quickly, hey? Eh? So I will click on this. Yeah, let me just import it before we um, we exit. So import, I clicked on export there. So click on import, browse for the file. So it's going to be employees.sql, open and hit go. Okay, so it's importing all the tables that we have there and once it's done, will have a functional database. So I can just go to a, another link here. Oh, actually, I can click here where it says view site and open in a new tab. So, uh, what is it saying? I have no idea. Let me click on departments just to see if uh, the data for departments is there and it's right there, employees, that's all we need. Okay. Employees, yes, let's check that out. And the data is there, so that's all we need. So 
if I click here, this is my website now. So I clicked here on view site and it brought me here. So if I now do slash departments, like so, I should get the data. Look at that. This is online now. Okay. If I say employees slash two, just to get second record. There we go. So it's now working as a valid API online. So this is good. We're going to see how to read from it in the next video.